Lesson 14 on the KR260. Finishing. Okay, so the next part of the book is page 97, where it says how to finish edges. Diana Sullivan has gone into depth and detail on how to finish edges. So I am not going to go there. You finish it the way you think you want to finish it. Or the way Diana finishes it. I do it my way, she does it her way, and you know what, that's just fine. If your carriage should jam, you just put it in CR and pick it up. And if your river jams, you just go like that and move it over. And then fix the stitches and carry on. Just make sure that you reset your row counter to where it should be. Unraveling the rows. Well, I just showed you that when when we were doing the, the um, neckline there. You saw that all I had to do was just pull it up and the stitches went back on. Picking up a drop stitch. Ah, uh, that's a pain in the ass. Um, you can use, if it's a purl stitch, you just use your um, latch tool. If it's a knit stitch, uh, yeah, uh, I just start over. It's just easier for me. Um, using the knitter as a single bed, seriously, it's, it's not a big deal. Replacing your pearl needles. Um, there's a little screw. Okay, I, I guess you need to be able to see what's going on here. So replacing a um, the, the sponge bar or a one of the needles. This screw here is probably holding your sponge bar in. Make sure you loosen it a little bit because it holds the sponge bar pretty tight. Making a tension swatch. Making a ten tension swatch with your ribber is no different than making one with your main bed. The only difference is when you go to put on your, your yarn marker, you need to tuck them between the beds. Measured the same, no difference. You get what you get. You wash it, you dry it, and you hope for the best. As for oiling, it says needle butts and rails of the bed. I think that's pretty standard and straightforward. The river carriage itself is not that mysterious. Um, knitting original patterns. I think you all know how to... Uh, punch a punch card by now. If not, you buy one. Wow. So, now we're at my nemesis. This ca cable pattern. It is so confusing to me. When I read this pattern, the way that it is written, what I see is that you are supposed to cable the pearl. That's not right. You are leaving a few stitches on the ribber to do the pearl stitches for you and you are actually cabling over the main bed. There's a variation here where you are um, transferring your stitches to make a weave. Let's see if I can find it in the photos here. Uh, like I said, when I first looked at doing this cable, I was so confused. So here it shows that you have four stitches of pearl and then you do your, your cables. I've never seen anyone leave that much pearl. I would do two stitches, I would never do four. This here is the other one that it showed, so this one, where you are 
grabbing those other you're grabbing your knit stitches and then purling them over I, I hope that makes any sense at all I will kind of sort of show you guys this one but we are not doing four stitches we're just going to do two in between it each so let's get moving on that one and then we will come back and we'll do a discussion on uh, a fancy rib tuck and a transferred stitch so let's do that cable first and I'll show you what it means as opposed to what it says next up cable <laughs> 